First, I have to thank to Bernd because he gave me the opportunity to speak here today because especially GPI is not really a monitoring tool. And I have to thank to my managers, Jürgen, Joachim and Hendrik, because they're sending me here, especially because the OSMC is not really an SAP event because I'm an SAP sysadmin. And um, yeah, it was a lot of work. I'm first time on such a conference and then speaker. If I had guessed how much work it is, maybe I have not done this, but yeah. Let's go ahead. Um, the things about me, yeah, I'm the SAP guy since two years. I'm working since 20 years for GND. GND is uh, quite an old company with 11,000 employees and we're doing bank notes. I have no presents for you, nothing, no presents. Uh, <laughs> We, we do also cash counting machines, really big, huge machines that are counting money within a huge amount, uh, paper money. And uh, yeah, we also have digital payment solutions. We do smart cards to log into your PC, uh, bank card, credit cards. I have no credit cards for you as a space sim, so uh, well. And another things as well. Um, why, why I'm using uh, GLPI? Because many, many years ago, I was became responsible in the network department for um, uh, for the asset management and for the IP address management, and it was Excel, and this is not not really good. And then I was searching for something different, and oh, uh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. Um, and then I choose, search for some products and I choose GLPI, it's French. Normally people not knowing things because they are French. This is not that bad. Um, and I created out of this automated monitoring. That's why I'm here. And we need to hurry a little bit up because GLPI is quite a huge tool with, with a lot of functionalities and 25 minutes is well, um, the project started nearly 20 years ago, and then in 2015, TechLib become kind of an editor on this project, like NetRace is to uh, to Ikinga, for example, and they are maybe equal size or something, maybe a little bit less people, I don't know. Uh, <coughs> the product also, <coughs> sorry, the product also uses plugins, so you have plenty of plugins, there's a link in there to, to check these plugins, but there are a lot of them. And sometimes those plugins, when they're really cool and, and widely used, then the core developers just take these plugins and put it into the core. And a game changer in France for all this open source stuff is that the French Prime Minister urged all authorities uh, to use open source whenever possible. And in here you see the GitHub development of this uh, project. So it's since years, it's uh, a good forward. This is the overall structure. So quite simple. It's a lamp uh, with authentication, or you can authenticate to the users directly in the database. You can do it different ways. You can authenticate via whatever LDAP SAML. Then you have these plugins. One major important plugin we will talk later on is this Fusion Inventory, because this Fusion Inventory runs as an agent um, on the machines, and also the Fusion Inventory can ask via SNAP, via API, other systems. So you can, for example, check VMware, you can check uh, locally your server, you can check via SNAP one, two, three, some machines, and that's why, in my case, it makes sense to combine this with the monitoring because the monitoring normally also knows all this SNP stuff from these machines. That way, it's it's uh, for me it was a good solution to combine this and put it on one machine. It works perfect. <coughs> okay. Um, the the. Uh, Main point, it was originally an inventory system and growing, growing, growing. And then they put the service desk and the management part on top of this. We focus, of course, on the inventory stuff. 
And here's a complete menu, what, what you have overall in a, in, a, in a GLPI system. A lot of stuff, you can read this later or not. Uh, we will concentrate on the right side, the asset stuff, and, and shortly about assistance. Because on the asset stuff, from the asset stuff, I then generate my configuration later on. In the second part, this is a meeting after this. Um, this was the this was the entrance. So if you open this as an administrator, it looks like this. If you open as a user, a self-service, you can see it in the right corner. You can choose your profile. If you have different profiles, you can test them, uh, and then you have different rights. Um, the asset parts looks like this, and uh, yeah, a little bit focus on this menu. We just take computers, network devices, shortly printers. And, and racks, and then we are done. There are also interesting things, but uh, databases, we also have a look. Okay, those systems are fake. So I, I made for this session here fake systems. So OM1 means open source monitoring one. Our SAP systems are not named OM something and, <laughs> and even not gi-de.com and so on. But uh, yeah. So you, you have here the search bar. This uh, search bar, this later, if you really use uh, GPI, this may be helpful for you to find all the menus. So you can do really interesting selects. You can export things. You can uh, uh, open the trash bin. Uh, so if you move something in the trash bin, you can then delete it from the trash bin or restore it from the trash bin if somebody deleted some systems and you don't want this. You can uh, change the number of lines. Then you have this action menu here, and you can clone and whatever. You can do a lot. This, this is really huge functionality. And those behavior is in every area is more or less the same. Yeah? OK. Ah, yeah, and if you click on the world, then you see if you have in the location the latitude and longitude, then you will see where it is. It's funny, but uh, I don't <laughs> use it normally. Sorry. <laughs> These uh, informations mostly coming from the fusion inventory agent. Uh, and um, then you can enrich this data, so as you wish. But the technical stuff normally comes from the agent. And then, of course, the department and who's responsible and who's the user. This needs to be added by someone. <clears throat> this is quite. A nice thing, this is this impact analysis, this CMDB stuff or so. So uh, you can um, make connections between all the systems. And these connections, you can move. And then you can click on the other system. And then you see it from the other system's perspective. So this is linked everything in the database. and. This is also interesting because you have the dependencies in, in the database in the background. So if you want monitoring, if you want to have the dependencies in the monitoring <coughs> later on, uh, then you see what system is depending on what system you can read out here. Um, operation system information, components. If it's hardware, this is now a virtual machine, but if it's hardware, you have detailed information about serial numbers of memory modules and stuff. So, uh, Volumes, of course, we I use this then later on to export this and uh, create then Ikinga objects with this stuff. Then you have the software stuff, then you have network ports, so we have, this is now a different machine. This is my, my home Raspberry Pi. But I make the Fusion Inventory, and then I renamed it, but it's my Raspi. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, that's why the, the IP addresses are, we don't use this IP addresses. Uh, so you see different network interfaces. You see all the informations. And you can even see if this system is connected to some switch, and your switch is also in GPI. Then you see what port he lives on. Especially if you have a server switch uh, in the data center, and there are unknown MAC addresses. You can poke the admin, just put it in there. And then you have all systems 
visible in this, and then you can generate. So nothing is forgotten. Uh, by the way, this is a Windows system that's not longer existing, but yeah. Management information, is, uh, there's no automation possible with that, but you have options to put in budgets and whatever numbers, invoice, orders, who has delivered this, and so on and so on. Virtualization, so this is now a virtual machine, and this virtual machine is running on another, on a physical machine. And then you can click on this physical, physical machine, Nuremberg 1 OSMC 1, this is now our hardware, the system is not existing, uh, and on this virtual machine I have in Kubernetes installed, so you see this stuff as well in there, and you will find it in some tables, and you can read it out and do whatever you want later on. So, uh, this is if you are on the physical machine, then you have on the VMware server, this is a VMware server, uh, then you have the virtual machines. I, I will not click in there because these are real names. So, uh, Then we have antivirus information. We have antivirus, I can't tell you what, and we don't use Windows Defender. And I'm skipping a lot of stuff. You can have knowledge bases, tickets, problems, changes, stuff, and so on, external links, certificates, and, and, and widely forgotten thing. But if you have certificates, it maybe makes sense to manage them as well. That you know when they are, are they existing, are they connected, and where is the certificate used. And this is also done automatically. So I'm um, having a connection to a certificate database where our certificates are created, and I'm putting them automatically in. <coughs> I'm so sorry. In my GLPI. And then I'm linking them because I'm reading out the name, and then I'm linking them to the system. So, um, and of course, the certificates, certificate A38, well known. Uh, you have all the detailed information in here, but this is the management part we will not talk about. But it exists. And you have a history, of course, about changes done in this system. And this is now a plugin. This plugin is named Fields, and this is a Fields plugin. You are able to put the fields you need, the fields you want, into in there, and then he created some tables in the background. <coughs> and, <coughs> and put this information in, and you can have the user information, groups, and so on. You can build the drop-downs your own, and we will use this later on because this is then the information so I'm using to uh, no, the I give the administrator of the system the opportunity to fine tune the settings without me. I'm not interested in. Okay, uh, now we are on the network part, but just we fly through because as an SAP administrator, I'm no longer in the network department. I was there 20 years, but uh, it's no longer interesting. You see, this is a stacked switch, and it has a lot of ports. And uh, with this, uh, many, many ports, you can see if it's red, then it's just a MAC address. If it's green, then you have a real system in your, uh, in your database somewhere. So a computer, a printer, or whatever, or maybe another network component. And so if there are rats in your data center, then you need to do something. If everything is green, fine. You can even do a select in the background over this to have a report. Is there an unknown MAC address on my core data center, whatever switch? <coughs> yeah, and now a printer, just an example. Printer basics, uh, information. Plus, uh, yeah, how many tuner in, and you can see also network port management stuff and so on. Um, a little too about the ways how to enrich data in GPI because GPI is just a framework, and to get the technical data in, we have different ways. You can, of course, take your Excel and import it there. So it's a plugin named uh, Data Injection. <coughs> And then we have um, the Fusion Inventory Agent. This is mostly used. But you can also use um, 
OCS inventory. There will be a GLPI agent. It's right now it's it's um, a beta state, but it will it will replace Fusion inventory in the future. Then you have the I have never used it, but this is Microsoft. Some I don't know if one of you knows this. This is whatever. And printer counters is a plugin to get more information out of printers. I'm also not using this. Then AirWatch plugin is this VMware client MDM, whatever. Maybe one of you know, I don't know it, but you can even then grab this information from the VMware MDM mobile stuff. Somebody using this? It's, it's VMware 1 or something. Well. Uh, <coughs> And OpenVES, it's an uh, unfortunately it's a plugin that's not um, it's on the state 9.3 right now it's 9.5 so you need to do something to get get it run in 9.5 not that much and you can connect an OpenVES system I, I did this once but we don't using OpenVES uh, and to get out information about scanning status are there some uh, vulnerabilities and so on. Uh, and then you can put this in there and then maybe if there is a vulnerability and it is above level 7 whatever, then you can bap, make an alert in the monitoring. I did this, I showed this to the management and they were not interested. So then Xevio is also an, an MDM stuff, I don't know, but I'm mostly using uh, SQL because I'm doing databases with SQL since I'm since 30 years in the IT, and the, during SQL also since 30 years. So this is an API for me, this is enough. Uh, <coughs> this is now diffusion inventory stuff. So you can uh, have this Windows components, uh, Linux, AX, BSD, and so on. Everything, because it's in Perl, everything that's running Perl, you can run this. And in whatever distribution it's in, there's a Windows version, and so on. And there is uh, an agent for Android. This is this GLPI agent, so Android as well. Network devices via SNMP, printers via SNMP, and then VMware, VirtualBox, LibWord, Xen, OpenVZ, Hyper-V, Docker. So he sees everything and put this information in there. Um, he produces large XML files about software and network interfaces, MAC addresses and so on, sending this to the central system and then it's taken, put it in the tables. If there are some relations, they are put together, done. Um, also, um, the DMC stuff is possible because if you want to send this over some um, um, DMCs, we have this proxy, so it's a really tiny Perl thing, PHP, Perl, I don't remember. And you send from the agent in the DMC, you run it and send it to this fusion proxy, and then he's sending this to the central station. And also every agent somewhere in the network can do uh, VMware or uh, SNP or whatever. Because it's, if you just go into your Linux system, you search for Fusion, then you will see all the list what is in there. And if maybe it's an older version, just go to GitHub and get the newest one. Yeah, and this Fusion server is also possible to, to do this directly. I'm not using this functionality. I tried at the beginning, but um, because for me, as a guy who has the monitoring in his hand, uh, I'm doing combine this. I just take the monitoring to get the uh, data from the devices and sending the monitoring system, sending this then directly. So it's, it's working as a proxy or so, is sending this directly into uh, this fusion inventory. This is quite nice. So you have <coughs> data center functionality uh, where you can manage your data centers inside the This is not, not really so interesting, but you can uh, Inside the data center, you can manage racks uh, and you can move everything around. It's it's more work to move the really a server in, in the rack, but yeah, it's a funny video. Uh, then there's another plugin databases. Uh, we will see this later because I'm using this 
to um, to also monitor my databases because then it's included here. We have the same uh, impact stuff, so the CMDB, and this is the same now from other perspective, the same picture. You can add instances, and I did the same here, Ikinga, as a, this is a plugin. I do this additional fields in there, and then I'm using this uh, to uh, give the administrator a possibility because the administrator needs to know, is he interested on backup? If it's a test system and he creates this every two weeks, he will not do a backup check. It does not make sense. Or buffer pool hit ratio, if he's interested, he can do. But this is, uh, you can do this your own with the, with the additional fields. You should write in whatever and then the administrator can do. Yeah. So this is not pre something pre-installed or so. This is done by myself. So, and I did the same for SAP stuff because there's no SAP plugin. So I took a plugin and uh, rebuilt and changed and make it usable for me. So all my SAP systems are now, uh, I have a SAP system and what systems are related to this and commands and servers belonging to this SAP, uh, because the SAP system is not just one virtual machine, normally not possible, but. <coughs> <coughs> okay, we come back to this. And here I have, of course, different checks, checks or options the, the um, administrator at the end can choose. We will come back to this later uh, in the next session. Um, because I, I came in contact with this lady from, um, a lady from uh, TechLab, uh, and she gave me access to the version 10, that's an alpha, and so it, the new version will look like this. Okay, and a little bit more nice, I would say. We have the same functionality, impact analysis. So we are done now with the asset part, short visit into this uh, assistant part, what we have there. In their system, of course, we have tickets, many, many tickets. And uh, if a user opens a ticket, it looks like this. It's not necessary. You can use a form. Uh, you can make it different. Then you as administrator see a ticket like that, that you can close, move around, whatever. But we're not using this in GND. Changes, planning, uh, Kanban board task problems. This is a cool thing, this form, this forms is really a huge plugin where you can build many, many, uh, I know, ah, I have my, I have my, I'm nearly, nearly done. Am I? Yeah? Um, you disturbed me. Stop it. <laughs> so, um, this was the uh, form to create a form. You go into plugin and create a form with different variables and drop downs and whatever. And then it looks like this. And then the user can send and then it creates a ticket. You have licenses, suppliers, documents. So you can upload documents over there, link these documents to some servers, databases, whatever. Projects. We use this, by the way, to because we did a big project last year to move our old, old systems uh, to renew everything in our SAP system. Those were old AX systems, and this was really a huge project. And we did our project control with that. And out of this, we created a web page, a nice web page. So the the guys from the management and all the departments they were visible. Ah, then you are doing that system and so on was a cool feature, loved it. And of course you have the users, administration, so this is a user example, this user does not exist, even with this picture. And settings, you can change colors and behaviors and whatever, and you have many other things. And profiles, you can, you create profiles, and then with these profiles you add a user to a profile, and then in this profile, uh, the user has the rights or not. Okay. Uh, those um, GPI, these um, the TechLib, they are searching for 
partners in Germany. So if you are interested, you can contact Polina. Uh, here's her email address. And there are a few companies, maybe this company producing buses, maybe you know, we hear about this. <coughs> or this company Novartis maybe has some interesting things for me. I have to say thank you. This was part one. Sorry about my voice. I have it will become better hopefully. Question and answers. How much time do you have? Three minutes left. Great. Thank you. <laughs>